Well, welcome with all that banging going on. Trying to see if I fixed the YouTube. I re-signed in, so I'm not sure if we're gonna if if we're gonna be sharing this on YouTube as well because it does not say that I'm live. So we may just be on Facebook right now. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Angie. Thanks for uh, hanging out tonight. Hi, Dawn, Marie. Hi, Renee. Hi, Chris. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for joining. So today, hi, Amy from Ohio. Today we are going to do something bright and cheerful. So I hope you um, are looking forward to it. I came across this cute little, let me hold it up to you, cute little um, vape, like pitcher, right? Like a creamer or um, milk or cream um, pitcher. And I thought, how adorable would our handwritten font be on this? And then um, fill it with some absolutely beautiful tulips. Tulips are my favorite flower in the whole world. They're only around for a very short time and I love them. These tulips look and feel so real, yet they aren't. Um, they have nothing to do with Chocolate Tour, so I totally tell you where I got them. Um, um, I went shopping at Target today and found everything I needed because all of my other stores were closed. So I got out for the first time since Sunday. Um, so literally cooped up um, with the kiddos, just out in the yard is all I've been doing. Um, so I went to Target, got a few groceries, and picked up some flowers and this fun little um, container. Hi, Stephanie and Carol and Nicole. Hello, Janet, Gerilyn. Howdy, guys. Hope you all are doing well. Hi, Darlene. And Colleen. And Carly's there. Hey, Carly. Whew. Kathy, hello. Laveda, Shelly. I love tulips too. They are my favorite. Hi, Brenda. Yes. Social distancing is just made better when you have beautiful tulips. And these colors are amazing. So you'll see these in another project that I'm actually gonna do too. Um, I did buy special colors for one project and I'm like, well, I gotta, I gotta do this one first and show it to you. Um, and then they'll go in there. Hi, Brittany. Okay, so um, I did say that we we're also gonna do a little ink mixing because I was thinking I was gonna put black ink on here because most of my things are black, but you know, lately um, she's been putting colors um, on here. And so I was thinking, what better than to put like a beautiful green color on the, um, on the vase that I'm gonna use. So I wanna mix, so I wanna make a green color because I don't have one that I want very specifically. I love friends. It is it is like they're like my friends. I miss them a lot and I know you can hardly see, but yes, I love friends. Friends is like it's a happy place for me. Okay. Um Oh, Carly. Yay. Hi Sharon. Hi Glenda. Yes, safe and healthy. That's what we want to be. All right. So let me show you my workspace. It's very pretty today because of the flowers. Like I just, I think I should have these pretty tulips here all the time. Um, all right, so I need this and I need to, um, I cleaned all my tools and I forgot to take them out of the water, so. Let me do that first before I move forward. Okay, so I have here couture teal and pesto. Now, I want to have kind of, 
kind of like just a sweeter color of pesto. So I'm gonna take like what I'm gonna call a scoop of pesto, okay? I'll kinda set that there. And then I'm gonna, t I'll just take it from the lid. Like half of a scoop of couture teal and I'll set it there. I'll use a different um, stir stick to stir it up. And let's just see how this works. See if it goes, um, just, I just wanna sweeten up this, this darker green color. I know that the pesto matches this pretty well, but I want it a little springier, just a slight bit. Okay. That is good. So now I do like that color. Okay, so now we need to make just a little bit more of it. All right, so we can take a big scoop of this. I think and a little scoop of this and mix them. That should work out for us. Oh yes, I love it already. Try to scrape all of that off the sides and get it down there. Hi Leona, thank you. Um, I'm, t okay, I am not like Phoebe at all. In fact, I'm probably more like Oh gosh, I'm probably, I'm probably more like Monica, but when we would watch Friends in college, I was Rachel because my other friend is way more like Monica than me, like way more. Um, but I probably am more like her. Um, yeah, just... Just thinking of it, I'm thinking of all my favorite lines. <laughs> I love that show. Okay, so let's work with our colors that we've got here. And I was thinking that I could put, um, I could put this on both sides, but because we're doing ink, I am gonna bake this, so. I have to really think it through. Really think it through. I'm gonna use a tiny squeegee so that I don't have a lot of extra mess. Yeah, so I think my personality is a mix of Rachel and Monica because I'm not as uptight as Monica is. Do, my husband just laughed out loud. Did you hear him? By the way, your text, that's what she said. Doesn't make sense. I mean, maybe it does, but. Yeah, all the rest of my stuff today involved banging. Okay, well, just give me this live time to not be banging, please. And Carol believes I am more like Monica. I do feel like I have a good outgoing personality, like Rachel, and she's kind of sweet and I'm kind of nice. <laughs> but I think when it comes to like my way, or the highway, I'm more Monica. So we're gonna go with her for now. And um, although I did have the Rachel haircut in college, uh, totally. Not, not, pff, now look at me. Now I'm like, oh, I'm a, a, I'm a homeschool mom with awful hair. If I was at the beach, I could say, oh look, I have beachy waves. But no, they're not beachy waves. This is Sarah didn't straighten her hair today waves. Um, at least I have makeup on, so that's okay. My eyes. <laughs> oh, okay, this is gonna be good. Hi, Marsha. Yeah, you heard, you heard Aaron. Mm-hmm. He's completely Ross, by the way. Total geeky nerd, just not dinosaur nerd. And he, oh, he always has to be right. Always always has to be right. Um, so I'm gonna use my 
best, my best non-slip stuff that I always use. Okay, and we're gonna figure out how to do the word bloom because I thought bloom, how beautiful. I'll always put like pretty flowers in here, and um, um, it will be springy, springy, and that was a little funny. And um, hi Heather. And what else? So two of my favorite lines. The first one is pivot. And the second one is it tastes like feet. Um, both by Ross, by the way, both. Um, then there are some other funny lines. It's just not appropriate for my life. All right, so we need to kind of section this out, how it's gonna go. These actually fit really close together. And I think, I'm gonna try something real quick. If I put this on, I think I can wipe it off pretty easily. Or is it gonna stain? That's my only question, because I do wanna use the, um, I wanna use the little marks on here. And I don't want to stain it. We'll try it this way. All right, so let me put down, maybe, oh, this is gonna be hard. Because it's not a flat surface. Maybe I'll just do one B, so that'll be our M, O, O, L, B, B, L, O, O, M, right? Okay. All right. This should work. This should, I'm just, we're just going to go smelly cat. Oh, Susanna. Yes. Yeah, smelly cat. Supposedly. Mm-hmm. Or the time when they had the whole conversation about being um, moot or mute. Moot. I don't know. I don't know. I just love it. Love. Okay. Got my M. I think that color looks beautiful. Well, I was going to use the tape, but... It'll even be hard with tape because it's not every single part of the surface is rounded. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it. I mean, for me, I'm used to winging it and then messing it up somehow. I know I should put tape across the top probably. At least for my, I just wonder how close will this get? It will get very close. So maybe I can put tape across the top, going right up to my first mark. Going right up to my first mark. Hello. Gosh. See how it goes downhill? You gotta adjust it. All right, that might work right there. And then My head's gonna get in the way here. Don't mind me. If you see any gray hairs, just don't worry, don't talk about it. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna quickly do the O. And quickly, whoa! There we go. All right, now I gotta do two O's and I gotta erase. <sighs> Let's 
see if I can erase this. Okay. Yay. All right, I didn't stain. I'm good. We're good. I'm good. So this is what it looks like so far. Awesome, Lori. Yay. Moo. Moo point. Moo. You're right. I always say it the other way. I know. I always say moot or mute, moo. Thank you, moo point. So now I can kind of like dry this more and I won't worry because I put the tape down up top. The tape is just gonna be for my registration marks. Oh my goodness. So my favorite, don't tell my Ray Dunn collection, but my favorite mug in the whole entire whole entire world is this friend's mug that I got in college from my BFF um, and um, I like I absolutely love it um, oh gosh this is hard to see because it's at an angle It is really hard. Oh. I may just have to lay it down there and just hope that it's matched up. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, I dropped my squeegee. That's never good. We'll get ink everywhere. I have ink all over my hands. Very good. So there's a little space here, but I'm just gonna go with it. Just gonna go with it because I really don't know if I can erase that after I kind of dried it. I do need a little bitty Q-tip because I have a little teeny Mark here. And if my hand will be steady, I can get it and erase it. There's a teeny tiny one there too. Okay. Whew, that was stressful. <laughs> All right, let's dry that, and we'll do our L. That's a bummer that those are so far apart. <clears throat> oh well, I think it'll still be okay. Hi, Teresa. Yes, we were on a break. That's another one. You got it. You can just keep coming up with friends lines. It'll make me laugh and then we'll all be happy, shiny, happy people. That makes me want to sing a song. Shiny, happy people. Who Extreme close up. Who didn't love a little R.E.M.? I think I'm gonna actually make it a little bit further away. That way the um, M doesn't feel so bad. I have ink all over the squeegee, so I just laid it down. I was watching, so binge watching. This is how I watch TV. Um, I decided that today Sarah gets to sit down and relax because I went to Target, both boys went with me, the whole time I made them keep their hands in their pockets, do not touch anything, do not touch anything, they take their hands in their pocket, but don't touch anything. Now, I feel this odd sense of security because nobody in our county has been affected with the virus. I forgot to put the, it's all right, we're gonna be fine. 
I, psh. Registration marks, registration mark. Doesn't matter. We'll be fine. So. Oh, awesome, Jean. So I decided I was going to watch some TV at like four or five o'clock this evening. Um, cause we were having leftovers for dinner, so I didn't have to cook. So, I mean, just heat up. So I sat down and decided I'm going to start watching American Idol, which is like, I love American Idol, but I don't always have a lot of time to dedicate to it. Cause it is, it is an intensive and big commitment show to watch, but I love it. I think I cried like seven times, um, this evening watching it. I watched two episodes. That's a lot. I fast forward through the commercials. But every story like gets me right here. And plus, I just really love when people are going after their dreams. And like, <sighs> it just does your heart good. So literally, I'm just up there like crying, good cries, you know, not... Not the bad kind, the good kind. And it makes me happy, it makes me proud. Like I seriously could go to a stranger's, like any school, like concert or any, just anything. And just be so proud, like cry because I'm so proud of the kids for whatever they're, whatever, how brave they are, what they're doing, you know, anything. <sighs> just, well, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. <laughs> I think it's gonna be just great for my house. Okay, so I know you can't see it like that, but it looks like this. It's not too bad. It's not very close together, which I could um, have done probably a little closer together, but we're not going to, we're not even gonna worry because today we're just making something pretty and I'm gonna be happy with it. And it might be a little going uphill, but I don't care. People are not gonna scrutinize when I put the flowers in, they're just gonna look at the flowers and only I. So what you wanna do when you are, um, when you're heating, well, I'm just trying to dry this, but when you're doing ink on any kind of ceramic or um, glass or metal or anything that you wanna um, heat set, you wanna dry it completely. Right, Susanna, I know, I get it, totally. Although I have been like, I think actually, I'm gonna say this because I usually don't compliment myself. I've been, I've been doing a really good job of homeschool and my business and keeping everyone happy. Although I did have to walk out of my husband's office today and say, I'm getting out of here because it is a toxic environment. Because again, he can't handle stress and we are on the phone with the accountant again. <sighs> it, he, the man makes me crazy. But he made up for it later because he can also admit when he's toxic. And I just left. I did not make a big deal about it. All right, so what you wanna do is you want to completely, completely um, dry this. If you can't dry it by hand with a hair dryer or whatever, let it set out overnight um, so that you can't, I don't think I have instructions. I might have instructions. Um, I do for ink finishing. You wanna dry it 24 hours. That's like super easy. And then bake in an oven. 300 degrees for 40 minutes. So put it in cold, turn it to 300, set your, um, well, nowadays they're saying preheat it. So you can preheat your oven to 300, put it in, bake it for 40, and then um, be done with it. 
there are other, um, if it's glass, if it's glass or like baking, like stuff that's already baking materials, um, where there isn't like colored paint or anything on it, you can do 350 for 30 minutes. Um, but I found when I was doing those metal tumblers that some of the paint will turn, kind of burn, kind of like turn a different color at 350. So uh, that's why I just do it all at 300 now. And I added 10 minutes. So 300 for 40 minutes. So let me show you. Oh, you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and take that down. And I'll do my little talking before I do my whole debut. Um, yeah, these are my favorite flower in the whole wide world. In the whole wide world. Like, all these colors. Yellow tulips are one of my absolute favorite. But these peachy and pinky, when they're all together, oh my gosh. They just calm me, don't they? Like, they're just calming, calming flowers. And we have Tulip Festival here, and they had to cancel everything because they don't smell real. They actually smell like... <laughs> it actually smells like the public pool that I used to go swimming at when I was a kid. I literally had a memory of that. And I don't know if that's because of like inner tubes. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, but aren't they just beautiful? I always wanted to get married and have tulips as my flower. And unfortunately, I never could pick a wedding date that was really during the school year. <laughs> um, so I never could get tulips as my flower. And they are legit my favorite. Um, I gotta stop talking and do 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 some work here. So we're gonna get through this because yesterday when my boys were here is a little crazy, a little chaotic. I am gonna admit. Oh yeah, Minnesota is too cold. My husband he never had tulips because they're too because it, it is too cold. Um, but yeah, now in Michigan we can have a few other flowers that he didn't um, have by his house. Um, my husband works out of the house. He's a scientist, but he is working from home most days. Now, yesterday he had to go in um, because they had do dosings and stuff, whatever. But and tomorrow he'll go in, but most of the other days, because of the lockdown and social distancing, he's not going into work. Um, he has a full setup at home in the office for his stuff, because he has to like log into a secure network to do his work because it's top secret. And anyway, yeah. So I am blessed to have him working from home. So lucky I am. Oh. Seriously, on any given day, it's great to have him home, but on any given day, it might also be a pain in my neck. All right, let's talk, let's talk VIP group. I'm about to put a new, so we just got permission to break apart some things that we can use for bundles. So I'm gonna pop a couple new bundles in. Maybe this weekend, we have to move Cassie home from school. They're done for the rest of the year. Everything's online, so we have to go move her out of the dorms. And they are going to refund us some of her housing money. So that is awesome. So we will go move her out on Saturday. But I'm going to work on some new bundles I'm going to put in there. And these are like to-go kits. I'm going to do them um, in front of you so that you have the tutorial. And then when you get your bundle, you can watch and kind of do it alongside me if you want, or just, you know, do it um, on your own. But I'm gonna add some of those things in there, different price ranges. And so if you aren't in my VIP group, which is for customers, go ahead and type add me in the comments and I will send you the link. Um, my automated system isn't working, so I will send it to you personally. Um, and clearly, I'm still not on YouTube, so I'm gonna have to download this and upload this to YouTube so that they can watch it. Um, but I will try to get that back. That is a restream problem. That's not my problem. Um, but we'll be patient with them. Um, if you haven't joined, been become a club member yet, our club couture 
is a really great um, project kit every month. So while we're on lockdown he, um, and beyond, you can get a project kit shipped to your house for $19.99 a month and you get three chalk paste colors and a transfer set and then um, you don't pay shipping on that. So it's really great. You pay $19.99 plus tax and then it ships to you every month. Um, I do love my subscription boxes. I just got my FabFitFun box and it made my day. Like I was like, oh, what is this box? And I was super, I haven't opened it yet. So um, that's going to be a whole different day. But um, I love Happy Mail. And so Club Couture is like a way to get Happy Mail once a month um, for a really great budget price. Like $19.99 is a really great price. Um, if you don't know, when you become a club member, you actually become a preferred customer, which means you get preferred pricing promotions um, throughout the year. And they just announced this month that you also get a special low flat rate shipping cost of $4.95 on any order that you place um, when you're logged in on my website. So... Um, this month's sale is you get the um, organization, the spring organization stuff for 25% off. So we have our basics bag that holds your tools. We have the color case. So if you haven't seen this yet, the color case, a great sturdy handle, and it fits all of your chalks and inks. So it's one side zips up and then there's another side. So you can actually fit quite a bit in the color case and they're very sturdy. So I think you can fit nine on each, so 18 total. 18 of these will fit into one color case. And then our transfer tote, if you have not seen that, I absolutely love it because when you start getting your transfers, um, this holds all of our sizes so you can get the largest size, um, this pocket, I put my A's and B's and I put my D's and E's in this and it zips up, it's extremely sturdy. I have carried dozens and dozens and dozens of transfers in this and it's extremely sturdy and you can lay it flat, like you could put it under your bed or wherever you want for storage or just kinda, you could hang it um, by the handles, whatever. So those are all 25% off only for our club members, our preferred customers. Um, and then on top of that, everybody in the world right now in March gets transfers, buy three, get one free on the website. No um, limit. Like I went to the store, there was no toilet paper, and if I wanted paper towels, it was a limit of one. If I wanted canned goods, it was a limit of one. So, um, like one of each thing. So there's no limit. You can buy three, get one free. So basically your fourth transfer is free, and it's the equal or lesser value. So you could place an order and get like all of one size so that you get the most bang for your buck, or you can mix and match. Your lowest price will be the ones that are free. Claire, you got your, yay, you got your um, buy three, get one free. Awesome. Oh, Michelle, that stinks. The thing is about college, they're, if the kids are moving out, they're not spending on electricity. They're not feeding them. They're not, you know, like, they're not using water. They're not using internet. Hmm. It's not full, like it's it's definitely not a lot, but um, but it is a little refund. So that's we're all happy with that. I didn't think we'd get anything, but she just sent me an email that said they we would. So that's good. Um, and then the last thing on there that I have is um, if you're curious about becoming a designer like me, I'm an independent designer with Chocotour, and you can too. We have a really great compensation plan. I can tell you all about it. Um, not on here, but if you type team in the comments, I will give you a link to watch a fun video that I put together telling you all the ins and outs and ups and downs of becoming a designer and how you can actually do it, how you can do it as a side gig and totally rock it, um, make some extra cash, you know, whatever, especially 
during this time, I know a lot of people are like either out of work, laid off work, or um, just like in limbo, which is always scary. So, um, okay, let me get rid of those and go to this view. And I'm going to arrange my beautiful flowers as best I can in this. Voila! Oh, the lighting, the lighting. Maybe I hold it back farther. Why is it doing that? See, it says bloom. But, hmm. Wonder if I... There. Can you see it better? You can, a little bit. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. So pretty. If I, if I could do the Moira Rose voice, I would. It's so pretty, but I can't. All right, so that was bright. Thanks for watching, you guys. This was just a fun little um, pick-me-up. Kind of a little pick-me-up, um, happy, fun thing. And tomorrow, I have to tell you this. Tomorrow, tomorrow I normally go live at 2 p.m. Eastern. But we're going to do, Jessica and I are going to do a collaboration tomorrow where we are both going to go live together and we're going to work on the same project two different ways. So join us at 8 p.m. Eastern Time right here on my, on my page. Um, it will be amazing. Uh, so don't miss it. Friday night, 8 p.m. Join us for Friday Night Live with Jessica and Sarah. Okay? All right, I think that's all I have for today. I am now going to go pep up my team a little bit. So I will see you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Have a great night, you guys. Thanks for watching.